lovely afternoon we've got here and I'm about to go and have a little bit of a play in one of our short strips so I thought I'd take you along for the ride talk you through a landing and a takeoff into our 230 metre strip uh, my favourite one because it's our shortest so kind of makes us feel a bit impressive the good thing about the Scout is that it has a boot there which uh, is sort of kelpie sized my dog Rosie but even better is it has a cargo net and everything's sealed around the edges behind the cargo net so less risk of things falling down under the floorboards um, which of course if it does then during an annual inspection it's got the metal belly we can pull off as well it um, does make me feel nice and warm and fuzzy knowing that things can't really fall down the sides of the floorboards like they can in some aeroplanes Uh, righty old. so master on ignition on down to here go. mixture rich primers in unlocked go cool point on the prop carb heat's cold one pump on the accelerator pump uh, one hand on the throttle one hand on the starter third hand holding the stick and clear prop Okie doke. We've got Tessa in the back. She's uh, one of our flight examiners. So we'd better make sure we behave ourselves. Track us on the scout. Fucking might remember taxi to my tree flies. So trim uh, set. Mixture is full rich. Magnetos are both on. Master is on. Propeller is full fine. Park brake completely off. Fuel is on. We've got quantity. Got quantity, flap, set zero, indicating zero, just reach it, which I can. And one instrument is set, switches are all on, controls, all for incorrect. And now, Anna says you get a seatbelt on? Yes, I do. Awesome. Shut the windows when we do a mag check. Fuel, flaps, trims, hay wheel. How would you know again if it's locked in? Um, you'll feel the pressure on the rudders. Okay. So, see there? Yeah. Now there's no pressure on the rudders. Okay. And you can feel it just swivels. Yeah. Straight to something out, I'll feel like November, lined up with my tree pump up with the parts from local flight to the door. And then see there, it takes a bit of kicking around with the brake and the power to get it uh, straight again. Okay. And then now, there's pressure on the rudders again. Okay. So you know that it's, um, it's locked again. We'll do a rolling start because we're not particularly distance limited on this runway. Peas and peas rolling the green. Now we're coming up. Okay, 20 knots or so. Stick forward, a bit more right rudder. And see there, we can reach down and grab the flap. And if I pull the flap, it just elevates off the runway. Yeah. There we go, releasing the flap down to zero. So what we're going to do to make it nice and standardised, we'll go head out this way and then join essentially a, a left base for the strip just so it looks a bit um, a bit normal than what we're used to. We're going to look for not much more than 50 knots as we're coming over the, the trees and then once we're over that undershoot area, we'll sort of reduce down to about 45, which will mean we'll carry a trickle of power. Carpet can go away. There's about 60 knots. We want to be set up as early as possible by not trying to um, rapidly slow it down at the last second. I'm still trying to see the runway. What's that, sorry? I'm still trying to see the runway. Right <laughs> <laughs> centre of the left. I'll let you know when we get there. Do you go in between the trees or out? Uh... We'll go in between the trees just because it gives us the, um, the best undershoot. There we're at 55 knots, still slowing down. 55 knots or below is when we'll sort of fall onto the back side of the power curve. Once again, pitch full fine, undercarriage is fixed, flat set, carb heat is away. Oh, she's up. Slowing it down a bit further, so a little pressure. Get us onto the back side of the power curve now that we're almost down at committal height. There's 50 knots now, trickle of power. Now you'll see the kangaroos there, they'll um, 
they'll scatter, they're fairly used to us coming. System traffic, uh, Pablo, I have a truck Romeo is taxiing for runway 35, system traffic. Okay, carrying a bit of power, door warning on, that's fine, look out kangaroos. As we come into the, nearly to the touchdown, power to idle, we're on. We're to back stick, bit of braking, don't need anything too drastic. We're in. Oh, that's a bit rough. How's that tell? A bit rough? <laughs> Jeez, rough crowd. Get rid of the flap. So the ground's a lot, um, but I guess it's dry. Exactly. Yeah, well, we haven't got the big tyres yeah. on it either yet, which yeah, um, makes, a, makes a fairly big difference. Oh, cutting trees. Yes. That's also slightly, slightly less than ideal. So, we'll line up. And... Do our fuel flaps, trims and tailwheel. Okie doc. So no, no, kangaroos are all clear. So fuel is on, inclusive of the mixture. And we've got quantity flaps uh, set zero, but as soon as we get the tail up, we'll pull the flap on. Fuel flaps, trims are set, and tailwheel's locked. Ready to go? Yep. Okay, so stick all the way back. Holding the brakes as we push the power to pull. As we get the full power, release the brakes. We'll go stick there to resist that drag as early as possible in the takeoff roll. As we get the tail up, full flap. Slight positive back pressure, and we've got airborne over the pump that time. And then we'll bleed the flap off once we uh, get a positive rate of climb. There we go. Oh. How was that, Sam? That was good. Exciting. Exciting. So exciting. Excellent. I couldn't see anything, so I was okay. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you in the next one.